happy Saturday. Welcome back to another vlog. For those of you that are new, my name is Rayshawn. Welcome. I want you all to like subscribe and comment. But I am at the mall and my mom and my kid, my mom bought some tickets for the kids. They're gonna do this ultimate bounty house. So, like I said, I'm not going in, but they all are. Y'all, I'm gonna have to do a skin routine because your girl has like no makeup on. Not a drop. All I had, all I did was wash my face and put my moisturizer on. Yes. So all they have little Miss Sunshine Lemonade, funnel cake, deep fried Oreos, and Twinkies. I mean, that sounds good. But your girl was trying to get rid of this little stomach, so I'm not gonna be able to do it. But anyway, I think this is an hour and a half. So while the kids are playing, I'm just gonna be lingering because my feet were hurting this morning. Um, and I Google it and it said it was plantar's fasciitis. I think that's how you pronounce it, which is the biggest muscle in the bottom of your foot. It's the the muscle that allows your foot to bend so that's been hurting for a few months so but this morning it was really bad so i told my mom i said ain't no way i'm going to be doing all this jumping and my feet are hurting but anyway y'all we are walking to the front of the bouncy house so the kids can go ahead and start jumping so let me pay attention because there, there's a lot of cars so it starts here and it goes girl making a TikTok video. <laughs> Ridiculous. <laughs> Alright y'all. I am in the, the little bouncy house area. My niece done lost her iPad, iPod case. My son just walked off. <laughs> My mom sounded like she was stressed. So I did not plan on coming in here, but here I am. So, about to look Found for the them. How was now it? Now in Target. Look at these little cute. Are these cute? Ball pillows. This matches the kitchen. Are you vlogging? Yes, I vlog. <laughs> you don't sound like that. You sounded like something like that. I like these baskets. She's, shopping. she's supposed to be spending time with a family and she's shopping. <laughs> I like these baskets though. Look, look at this. Isn't this cute? Look, look at this. $5. It comes in there. <laughs> I like all of the pumpkins. You guys are just weird. <laughs> She's so obsessed with my butt. No, I'm not. It's like two beach balls. <laughs> no, it's just like two beach Yes, baby. Just the essentials. Yeah, for you to walk out with 20,000. I know. It should say, that back should say a little bit of everything because nobody can come to Target and just get what they need. And if you can, you're amazing. They have these blazers. It's cute where the back is out. And then the front buttons, and then they also have it in green. I like the green. I like the black. Hey y'all. So I'm at Wendy's, and the guy I guess in front of me wasn't paying attention to the orders because I ordered before him in the line, but you know like. At, the, at Wendy's are most drive throughs if they have two lines you know how it's like you order and then the next person next to you is ordering but depending on who you know you merge in front to keep the line together so I ordered before the guy that was in the line next to me but the way that you merge into the line he ended up in front of me so when he got to the window instead of him listening to what they were reading off his order he's just like yeah yeah that's mine that's mine it wasn't his 
So he got my order, which was a junior bacon cheeseburger for my son, a meal. And then my daughter and I just got some small fries. He's gonna be pissed when he gets home because it's like he ordered like a double stack and fries and some more stuff. And so he's gonna be mad when he gets home. But that's why you gotta listen, boys and girls. Like when the people are reading back your order, instead of you just saying yes to just rush them off and quiet them up, you need to listen. Cause guess what? He's gonna be mad when he gets home. And what's he gonna do? Come back up here all pissed off or he's gonna call and be mad. It's his fault. But it's an inconvenience because now we have to wait. Oh, here she comes. All right, thank you. All right, thank you. You have a good one. All right, so. So I know for sure this is my water, but this is what doesn't make sense. If I ordered a Coke and a Dr. Pepper, why would you not mark which is which? How am I supposed to know? They're both brown. I'm gonna go out on the limb and say Coke is darker than Dr. Pepper. Let me try it because you guys the biggest. Oh, so anyway. So yeah. Go ahead, lady. I see you. Bro, you look real strong. That is so rude. It used to so anyway y'all so we are taking off now about to head down to the waterfront so i'll pick y'all up when we get down there yeah, yeah, I hear. Hear. So, my hair is at least somewhat done but your hair is up like you know let her talk to you like that all right so we're running a little behind schedule but we're still headed down to the caribbean Seafair, but we decided what we were going to do is catch the light rail instead of driving down there because when you drive downtown, you have to pay for parking, and the parking can cost you, uh, it can get expensive. So my mom was like, let's just catch the light rail. So that's what we're doing. And it's not bad for a round trip ticket, it's $5. So I guess it's better than driving downtown trying to find parking. So the city park, but even on Sunday though, the park is pretty cheap down there, but whatever. So that is my current situation. We are waiting for the light rail. All right, y'all, so we are downtown. Get too close. And this is the gum wall. <laughs> so it's just a wall on both sides where you chew your gum and you put it on the wall nasty but if you come to Seattle this is a thing that tourists like to do nasty I know right and living in Seattle this is probably my second time ever coming down here but it's because we are walking through the alley so we are down at the pier you can see the Norwegian cruise ship over there I think yeah they probably are going to Alaska yeah, it, that's, and then there goes the fair swim. Anthony, go around. Yes. So now we just have to find Pier 62. Right there. All right. So we finally made it down to the pier. As I showed y'all. Now we just need to figure out where Pier 62 is because we don't come down here enough to know where to go. But where's Pier 62 at? I don't know. And my hair, hair, all of our hair is reverted. This heat, sweating. Look how big the cruise boat is. Up close. <laughs> Top of my mom's head. Look how big that is. So this is downtown Seattle, where a lot of the condos and stuff are. Is, so this is what we are doing today. Some upcoming events. Come on, my. Hey, y'all. So I think I'm about to go to the. Um, well, first of all, good morning. It is um, August 16th, and I think I'm about to go to the store because. 
I need to get some fruit, some yogurt, um, something to drink besides water, but not like soda and juice like that because y'all, I have got to drop my weight down. Like I am uncomfortable at my size. Um, so for reference, and I don't share this, but you know what, as part of like my journey, I'm gonna share with y'all. So I am five, five and I'm like topping the scales. Like I am 193. Um, this is large for me and I am uncomfortable carrying around this amount of weight because now I'm to the point where I can't even fit a lot of my pants and I was doing really good before I was being consistent in the gym blah 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 watching what I was eating and then somewhere along the lines I just started getting comfortable and relaxed on my routine and then I started gaining the weight back and so I need to lose this weight again because I promise y'all like when I get when, when, when I think I was probably this size um, when I was pregnant with my twins, I think I might have been like seven and a half, almost eight months, you know, because with my kids, um, my kids are, for those of you, if you're new or if you just didn't know, so I have twins, they're 12 and a half. Um, when I, the day I went into the hospital to have my kids, I weighed 218 pounds, nine months pregnant with twins. Well, I mean, I, I was like, I carried them, yeah, for nine months because I was um, not the full nine months, but I did make it to nine months. But I, but neither the less, I was 218, pregnant with twins. And here I am, not pregnant, and weighing 193. So I said that to say I've never weighed this much before, and I'm finding as I've gotten older, all of my weight likes to settle right here in my face and I don't like this and then in, in my in my stomach and my thighs and I've always had a butt always had a big old butt so I don't know um how much of that I'll lose but I can lose some you know I don't mind uh, when you were born with it and you've had it your whole life you don't mind giving a little bit away so um and it just wouldn't look right to just slim down and your butt still be all big, you know, especially when you're natural, you're going to lose it. it. I think I will look proportion versus when I had my braces, I got down to 150 when I had my braces on. And because that wasn't like a um, natural weight loss, that was more like an almost like a starvation weight loss because I couldn't eat when I first got my braces on. My mouth was so sore that I did not look good at all at 150 because the way that the weight came off, it was all just, it just, oh my, it looked horrible to me. It just looked horrible. Um, but I don't know, y'all. I got to do something. So I'm about to go to the store. I'm about to give me some fruit and some yogurt. And then when I get back, um, I'll probably just take y'all in the store with me and just show you like what I'm getting. I'm not going to come home and probably do like a little haul or whatever because I'll just show you in the store. Um, but let's go. All right, y'all. So I am in the store. So far I got grapes and then I got this little fruit tray and watermelon. And then I really like these little drinks. So it's a dragon fruit five calories these are two for three and i like the peach raspberry it's called the lemon perfect and then this one was the dragon fruit this one is probably my favorite and then i'm thinking about getting some yogurt um but i know sometimes yogurt can be high in sugar I'm allergic to strawberries y'all so I can't do that and I don't like black cherry oh raspberry and blueberry maybe and they have pineapple I think I'm gonna do raspberry oh they have blackberry too uh oh um, pineapple and then let's do blackberry. So 
have less sugar, um, clingstone peach. I don't know about that one, y'all. Right. But we'll see when I add it. Granola. So they also have what is this flavor over here? Strawberry again. And they have the core water. I didn't know they had the core with the um, infused flavor. So what they have? Cucumber, pink grapefruit, and then lemon. But y'all, I think I'm just gonna stick to water. Now I'm looking like busted, but I don't even care. Like, no tea, no tea, no tea, no tea. Water, water, water. Yeah, so look, I'm in Target, and how about now the toothpaste is locked up? What? I can maybe understand these electric toothbrushes but the toothpaste are we serious <laughs> hey y'all so it is sunday august something i don't know so i'm on my way to go into the grocery store because i'm going to my sister's house today and i need to bring fruit so yeah all right y'all so just like that in and out oh, it's windy it's smoky I wanted to go get my eyebrows done, but where I was gonna go, my sister said usually on Sundays they're really full. So, but you saw I got my fruit, I'm about to get some gas. And the one thing that I promise you I cannot stand is when people are like slow moving and they're in the way. Like, get out the way. That's it, just get out the way. Like, move faster or get out the way but anyway i'm gonna start driving i need to get some gas but it's really smoky i don't know if y'all can see like look in the horizon how smoky it is it's really hey y'all good morning so i just took the kids to get their um invisalign checks so everything looks good now we're about to walk in and get some breakfast at this place called the corner bakery So we got our food. Well, we didn't get our food. We got our number. I'm just waiting for our food now. Um, it's a cute little spot. Um, it's by the mall. It's been around for a couple years. I don't know, maybe, well, I'll say more than a couple. Probably at least 10 years. I don't come here often. This is probably like my third time coming here. They serve like breakfast, lunch, and dinner. But I think they're more well known for like their pastries and their breakfast. We are just waiting. I got the bacon cheddar and egg panini. I'm gonna split it with my son because it looked like it was kind of big. So anyway, y'all, I'll let you know what it tastes like. I got a bacon croissant, and this is the or a chocolate croissant, and then this is the panini. All right, hey y'all. So it is days later, um, and three pounds lighter. Yes, I'm down three pounds. So y'all, I am on a little weight loss journey. And I know this is a weird angle because I got, have you guys like propped up on the face of a plant? Yeah, so, but I wanted to show you guys some stuff that I had got today. Cause I'm in the middle of cooking. I'm making dirty rice and cornbread. Um, but I went to Uniqlo today and I found these um, mini shoulder bags. And I think they are so cute. So this is, what color is this even? So they're polyester. This is called 32 beige. So kind of shaped like that. And the inside is basically the same color. It's way bigger than your like typical like um, fanny pack, but and it also, you can adjust it to whatever length that you want. But I think that what I want to do is kind of wear it to where it's like underneath, I guess, like the boob, but kind of like along the, the rib cage. 
Um, so I got this color. And by the way, these are 19, 1990. Um, it comes in five colors. So I also got it in black. I originally went in for the black and then I saw this beige. So I was like, you know what? I'm just gonna get them both because these two colors, like honestly y'all, you can wear with anything, right? And for $19, so they also have a, it also comes in navy. Comes in like this cranberry red color, which is really dope. Um, and then it comes in a, like a cream, which I had contemplated. But then I was like, you know, this won't get as dirty as the cream. And I don't even know if you can like, if I'm being honest, it's like, it says it's polyester, so this could be washed if needed. Um, I probably would just lay it flat to dry. So I got those. I think, like I said, I might go back for the olive green and the cranberry one. I don't know when, but um, those were the two colors they had the least of. And then I got my daughter just a pair of like navy, navy-ish socks. Um, so they sell like the socks individually and they have like a whole bunch of colors. Sorry, I think my battery's low. So they had a whole bunch of colors. So I got her these to wear with the skirt. And then some things that came in the mail. So I got this from H&M for my son for school. It's just a sweatshirt, but I like the color because he likes hoodies and he likes button up sweatshirts. So I just got him this hoodie. So it's like in this pretty blue color. It doesn't even say what the color is. And then I have got me this um, half zip up gray sweatshirt. And I want to say this was on sale for 23 and then this sweatshirt was on sale for, no, this was on sale, this might have been on sale for 19. Yeah, and this was on sale for 23. And the reason why I got this, I think I should have got the medium, honestly, because the large was looking kind of big. But um, I was gonna order a similar shirt, like the gray one for me, but from Aritzia, you know, I'm cooking. So, but from Aritzia, and it was $61. And I have that shirt from Aritzia in orange. Um, but when I had got the orange one, it was not $61. It was like, I want to say maybe like a sale for like maybe 30. And so I just was like, I cannot, I because I know I already have this in another color and I got it for like 28 or $30, I cannot spend $61 on this. So, but I knew I wanted one in gray. Oh my God, my chains are all messed or tangled up. Um, I knew I wanted it in gray. So I saw that one and I was like, you know, I'm just gonna go with the cheaper one because it's still good quality. Not as good as Aritzia because we all know if you shop at Aritzia, their quality is like amazing. And I will say for Aritzia, their items are worth the price. But because I was doing back to school shopping, which I'm pretty, I'm done. I was just trying to spend more of my money on getting the kids the stuff that they wanted and I wanted or they need it. So they have at Aritzia that, I was going to get the Heather Gray. They have another one that comes in it's called Cloud cloud white gray or cloud gray or something like that so it's a lighter shade of gray so i have that in my basket right now but i honestly don't know that i will order it and then i got a pair of sneakers but i'll probably have to show you guys those in like another vlog because i just don't feel like running up the stairs but because i am in the middle of cooking and i really want to like wrap my hair up wash my face and do all the things and then lay down because I have to go on site tomorrow. Um, me and the team, we are doing a training. So I have to go up to the hospital tomorrow. So I just gotta do all the things to be ready to be out of the house because you know, when you don't have to worry about get, all summer, I haven't had to get up early because the kids have been on summer break. And then because I work a hybrid position, but it's more, it's more or less, I would say probably like 95% remote, 5% on site so it's a little bit of process you know because now i have to get up tomorrow get dressed to go so i'm gonna start 
getting myself ready to do that and i feel like i'm rambling right now so i do want to say thank you for watching don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video Thank you.